thumbs up. Drivers behind the line. In three, two, one, go. Welcome to our first qualification match here at the Finn District Greenwood event. Just like usual, the first 15 seconds are completely autonomous. That's free program for those who are unfamiliar. They get points for leaving their community and returning to their charge station. 234, able to do that. 135, just shy of that mark they were trying to hit. The remainder of the time period is now teleoperated where the human controllers will pick up their controllers and control their robots. The students worked six to ten weeks to make these robots and they're now in action. 135, that's the Penn Black Knights working to deposit a cone on the top part of their grid. They don't need to generate links anymore for those ranking points, but each correct link is still worth five points for their alliance. Remember, those links are defined as three game pieces horizontally placed. 3940 working towards that link goal by placing a cone in the high part of the grid worth five points each. All the point values are the same from Call of Game Mashing, so everything you've already known still is true. 720 making use of their human player station, grabbing a cube from their loading dock and making their way over to their grid. Heading over the charge station to save time, they are allowed to do that throughout the entirety of the match, but they have to be careful that they don't traverse too quickly to damage their own robot. 4485 hanging out in the center of the field, trying to cause as much commotion as possible for the Red Alliance. They're able to do bumper on bumper action as long as the time is minimized and does not exceed any boundaries. 135 depositing a cube on the high part of the grid. Currently two to one links in the favor of the Red Alliance. Still plenty of time left in the match to change that, about a minute remaining. 3940 eyeing up their competitors, trying to prevent the Blue Alliance from scoring any additional game pieces. We'll see this more in playoffs than we had in qualifications, that bumper on bumper defensive action. 3940, that's Cybertooth. They've been your high ranking players all day, depositing a Q, or sorry, cone into the high part of the grid for five points for their alliance, gaining an additional link for their team. Just like usual, as we enter end game, robots will make their way towards their charge stations to score additional points for their team. They can get six points for contact alone, but an additional 10 points for robot if they can get into a balanced configuration. 1720 already gearing up their team for that. The Blue Alliance looking to put all three robots up there possibly to make up the score difference that is possible during this time. The Red Alliance trying to match them with three as well. They have five seconds to do it. We'll have to see if they're able to be successful. Both Alliance is going for a three balance. The Blue Alliance has been able to do it. The Red Alliance just short. We'll have to see how these scores total up. Here are the scores for your match. It's a four point difference. Your winners are the Blue Alliance. The Blue Alliance, that's your eighth seed alliance. They will advance and remain in the upper bracket. We'll next see them at match seventh. Your Red Alliance, just short by four points, will make their way to the lower bracket. They're not out quite yet. We'll see them next at match five here at the Finn District Greenwood event.